As you can see behind me, attendees of the third annual recovery run participated at West Bank Park. But it was more than just a run. Three, two, one, go! Saturday afternoon's event started off with a 10K, a 5K, and a 3K. The event was in support of those battling through addiction and alcoholism. Monique is someone who once struggled with alcohol addiction herself, but now recovered, she said she participates to help build a sense of community. I battled with alcoholism for years, um, down to DUIs, and you know it does affect families, and I sought recovery after my last DUI, and it's been about two years now, and just all the help that I've received, and I. I do look forward to helping other people in the future. Hosted by The Sober Life, an organization meant to provide a healthy outlet and connection towards the community for those who struggle with addictions, the recovery run was just one of the events used to provide fellowship. In 2019, we featured Dean Snow, who celebrated sobriety after nearly 35 years of addiction and is now an active member of The Sober Life. So uh, I myself have struggled with uh, addiction in the past. I was 35 years in active addiction. I got clean in 2017, June 10th, and uh, man, it's uh, been the best life I've ever known. You know, I, I didn't think it was possible. I was hopeless, you know, unreliable, undependable, and, and now I'm the opposite of all those things. And I get to be a part of the Sober Life as the program manager, and it's fundamentally changed my life. While the recovery run is only in its third year, Dean says he aims to keep this event an annual tradition, with September being recovery month. And we've kind of expanded that now to stop the stigma month, and it's to uh, kind of uh, create awareness about the stigma of addiction and you know, a lot of people have a negative connotation when they hear about people who are addicts or alcoholics and we're trying to change that because we're really not bad people and we're out here trying to create that awareness. In Great Falls, Cade Mentor, MTN News.